Hello, you've missed a little bit just because I was uh, getting some noise on my end that ended up being too much. I couldn't just play it off like I normally do. So I did a little bit of work back here on the shoulder and I just made it a through loop and then I extruded in to create a neck. Um, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, do I have keys on there? Yeah, whatever. One of those things. Uh, and this neck is um, functional, but there is a problem with it. And the problem is that it has eight verts on one side, which means that in the end it's going to have eight plus six verts, which is 14. No, wait. Yeah, 14. Um, 14 isn't a terrible number of verts, so I guess that's okay. But it's always worth looking at how many verts you've left with your with, in your mesh uh, at the at the connection point, because the neck is something that the head is going to have to use. And what we're going to try and do is make the neck properly shaped. And uh, I just created it, so I haven't done any shaping or anything yet. We're just gonna keep keep working with it until it is the right basic shape. And that means bringing these guys forward and in, bringing these guys forward. That's actually pretty close. There we are, neck. All right, now that, the neck is, now that the neck is created, we can move on to creating other parts like the arm. Before we create the arm, let's go ahead and make sure that it is roughly the right size. And that means that it needs to be shorter, because our character is not a weightlifter and does not have beefy arms. And we also need to bring it in a little bit like this. And let's see, we need to make sure that it is the right. There we go, like so. And you can see that we have a stray little vertex, but it's okay, just bring it back into place. All right, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to scale x0, and then I'm going to go ahead and extrude ourselves down to the wrist. Uh, a lot of people have started, to use, have started to use the A pose rather than the T pose, and you're welcome to do that, but I never, never really got it figured out, so um, I still use the T pose. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, so I'll just continue to use the T pose until someone yells at me. So... This guy's going to be our bicep, put it there. This guy's going to be our wrist, or sorry, our elbow, put it there. This guy's going to be our beefy forearm, put it there. All right. Oh, what the hell did that just do? Just bring the stuff so that it looks right. Like so. And that'll all work out. Now, another thing to remember is that the wrist itself is basically square. So let's bring these guys down and scale Z0. And uh, bring these guys up. Now we have an awkward number of um, we have an awkward arrangement of verts here, or at least it appears to be awkward at first glance. We have the right number; there are eight, but you can see that we have uh, very few on this side and a lot on this side. That's actually, I wouldn't say on purpose. So what we need to do is need to rotate these so that they work out. And now, if you extend your arm into your A pose, you'll see that you twist your thumb when you twist your th thumb into the forward position. You're actually moving your arm, uh, you're, you're rotating your wrist, and so we're going to do that exact same thing. So um, we're going to rotate Z, no, sorry, Z, you know, X, one of these, and I'll rotate it. So which which direction does it rotate? So if this is, um, I've actually completely forgotten. I'm, I'm blanking on which way it rotates. I think it rotates this way. Either way, the whole point is that we need to make this wrist area um, look more proper, and that has nothing to do with, uh, uh, it has a lot more to do with, go on, rotate X. Sorry, sirens are very distracting. Uh, so basically, we, we just wanted this wrist to have some verts in the right position, and we did it wrong. Shit. You know what? Never mind. Let's just never, never mind all that. We'll work with that later. Let's go ahead and finish off the legs and pretend that I never did that. Um, 
things are a lot easier when there aren't continuous noises and sirens in the background. Because I always stop and think, is that too much noise? Can I get away with just kind of saying, oh, look how much noisy it is. Er. Alright, so we're trying to build something that's leg-shaped when we really have something that's currently bean-shaped. But we do have a serious problem. And if we show you from beneath, let's go ahead and hide most of the body so that we can see what I'm talking about here. Why are you selected? No, stop. Now you can see how we've got this kind of bean shape, and I've already repaired the worst of it. But the problem that I can't repair is this large area here, which is something where um, it's we need density there, and we don't have any. We could add density in that region, but if you look, we've got 12 verts. If we added density there, we'd have 13. Aside from being a lucky, an unlucky number, uh, that would also just be bad news, just because it's an awful number of verts to try and turn into a foot. So what we really need to do is reduce the number of verts somewhere else. And as it turns out, we've got spare verts. Uh, not control H, Alt H. There. And this is the spare verts. Alternately this, your choice, whichever one you don't like. So let's go ahead and get rid of them. And you can see that that left us with a triangle. Uh, in actuality, if we deleted this set instead, we wouldn't have been left with a triangle. Uh, it's up to you whether or not you hate triangles enough to worry about that. But um, uh, I thought this was a more, um, a better set of, uh, a better edge loop to get rid of. Uh, and I don't mind the triangle there at all, so I'm going to just leave it. And that means that we can now add a vert in the back, here, which is where we need it. Come on. But you can see that that adds like this long loop that runs all the way up the back. And that's just no good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and manually cut a loop here. There we go. This also le leaves us with a triangle, but I don't really care. Again, that's not in a position where it actually matters. So it'll work out fine. And this actually gives us all the density we need in our leg, so we're going to go ahead and use it. But it did leave us with this five-pointed unit here, so what we're going to do is we're going to delete this face, uh, sorry, this edge, and we're going to just hook these guys up properly. And that will turn out to turn our, our triangle into a quad, but this is the worst quad ever made, so we're going to delete it. There you go, turn it back into a triangle. Um, that's not a triangle that's ever going to bite us in the butt, so we're going to just leave it as it is and not worry about it. No. There we go. So that gives us a leg that's more or less the right shape. We'll just extend it down, and this isn't a particularly... I didn't choose this height for any particular reason, so um, it may be that the legs need to be shorter than that. We'll just move the whole mesh later on. And so this is the ankle, so it needs to be quite small, like so. And then we'll just add in all the pieces we need. So here's a knee. Unlike the elbow, you need a little bit more density to your knee. And then here is the shin. So the shin is going to be expanded, moved out, and then rotated, like so. And obviously these, these knee elements need to be radically shrunk. This guy here needs to be shrunk, like so. Um, and uh, it depends on really how, how much of a uh, thigh we, we would like our character to have. Um, that works OK, I suppose. And then, of course, there's the ankle. Now, when you're trying to create a knee, there are two basic approaches. One is you can just do without any kind of added density. And the other is that you can add density. Whichever you prefer is fine. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to add any density. I'm going to just do without, and I'm going to pull this down so that it looks like a knee, which you do just by doing this. All right, so that's it for today, and it's getting noisy again, so I'm going to stop.